and welcome back to my channel. So starting off the new year, I decided the first video that I wanted to show you would be a beautiful soft glam. And that is exactly what I did today. And I'm really excited to teach you guys how I got this look. So make sure you guys turn on my post notifications so you can be a part of my bear family. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And keep on watching guys as I show all of you how I got this beautiful soft glam. You are now, now rocking with Britney, bitch. All right guys, so this glam is going to be very soft and very subtle. I think this is a perfect way to start the new year off and to have just a fresh, clean, glamorous look. So for this, I'm gonna begin by taking my moisturizer and I'm gonna be applying this onto my face to really just hydrate my skin and make it look nice and dewy. So I'm just applying it on my face and rubbing it in. So I'm going to be trying out my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this primer is actually green, which is very interesting. So I'm assuming that it color corrects. I've never tried this one before, so I'm excited to see how I like it today. All right, so I'm going to be applying a little bit onto my finger. It looks like green goo. It feels very silicone-y, so I'm assuming it's a silicone-based primer, which is good to just go into your pores and really make your face and makeup application look so flawless, which I love so we will put it to the test and I will let you guys know what I think so for foundation I wanted to use something that was super beautiful glowy dewy and kept my skin looking super fresh so for this I chose my makeup forever HD foundation stick and I love this foundation because it goes on really light but it's also very buildable so I'm going to be applying this onto my skin so pretty I just love this little foundation stick. I just wanna roll it all over my face. So to my forehead, my temples. I look so crazy. But I'm gonna be taking my beauty blender and I'm gonna begin by patting out the product onto my skin. And I just love the way it keeps my skin looking. I love the fact that you can kind of still see my skin, my natural skin through the foundation. And I think this is perfect coverage for what I'm going for, for this look. I want to keep it very fresh, very glowy. Now when I'm using my Beauty Blender, I like to pat it rather than sweeping the product. When you sweep the product, you're actually taking away a lot of the foundation. And for this, I just prefer to just keep it in its designated area by applying light pressure. All right, so now that I've applied the foundation, I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Medium. I'm going to be applying this underneath my eyes to kind of give me that nice, awake look. What I love about this shade is that it's super close to my natural skin color, so it's actually just gonna take away any dark circles that I may have under my eyes. So I'm just applying a little bit of this product on, and I'm going to pat with my Beauty Blender and blend it in. and go on to the other side. So this is just giving me some extra coverage so we look nice and awake. Now picking up my Tarte Shape Tape once again, this time in a lighter shade. This is a shade Light Sand. I'm going to be applying this right above my cheekbone. And this is gonna really just highlight that area and add some dimension to my face. I'm also gonna be applying it down the bridge of my nose and carry it upward on my chin area and a little bit to the sides of my nose. So here are all the areas that I like to apply it. Picking out my handy dandy beauty blender once again, guys, we are going to just blend the product out. As you guys can see, this adds some brightness to my under eyes now. Now blend on the other side. I love Tarte Shape Tape. It goes on so beautifully and it really blends out so nice. And what I love about it is that it's like a full coverage concealer. It just makes all your blemishes disappear in a second. All right guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and blended all of it out and this is how it looks this far. I'm loving the coverage, loving the concealer, 
So far, this looks very healthy and glowy. So normally, I would apply lots of layers of setting powder to really pack and keep my skin looking nice and flawless throughout the night. But this time around, since I want more of that natural finish, I'm gonna be picking up my Patrick Star setting powder and just applying a little bit onto my sponge. I'm then going to be applying this to my under eyes and instead of packing the product on, right now what I'm doing is just trying to mattify any of the foundation or concealer that I applied earlier on. So I'm gonna do one side and show you guys so you can see the difference. Alright guys, so here is the side that I apply translucent powder to and this is the side obviously with no translucent powder So you guys can see that this is more matte and this is more glossy So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with the same setting powder Applying it to all the areas of my face to just really make sure I lock in the product and that my face doesn't slip and slide throughout the day Alright guys, so now that we've applied the translucent powder all over my face and we locked it in and everything looks nice and matte I'm gonna be picking up my MAC setting powder and this one is in the shade Deep Dark and a Morphe brush and I'm gonna be using this powder to pretty much just warm up my whole face and kind of contour out my cheekbones so I'm starting at my cheekbones and just applying this in nice smooth motions and just adding some color and dimension to my face so we can already see the difference. As you guys see, this cheekbone looks more defined, more chiseled, and this side looks kind of sad. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the same onto the other side. Give me some color in my laugh. I love using this shade for bronzer. It's just so perfect and it gives me that nice, beautiful glow that I love. And then I'm gonna begin warming up the upper part of my forehead. Alright guys, so now that I've warmed up my face, we all know that I cannot do glam even if it's a simple glam without a little bit of a nose contour. But for this, I'm going to be changing up the bronzer to the Hoola bronzer. I just love this shade. I think it's not too warm and not too cool. And I'm going to be picking up my six brush from my Morphe Collaboration. And once again, just line this to my nose. Don't worry if I do this a little fast, I am going to be having a nose contour video coming soon so you guys can see all the details and how I snatch my nose. So applying this to the sides of my nose as usual. And just a little bit right here on the center of my nose to give that button like appearance that I always love to do. So now that I've contoured out my nose and I've snatched it, it is time to add a little bit of highlight. For this, I'm picking up my Lancome highlighter. And I showed this one to you guys in my last video, but I'm super obsessed with this right now. So I'm going to be using it again. And just applying a little bit with my finger, I'm going to add this to the center of my nose to just make it pop and down the bridge. So now that I've applied my nose highlight and my nose is nice and snatched, I'm gonna be taking the same highlighter, bleh, the same highlighter. So I'm going to be applying this and this is a Iconic London eyeshadow brush that I'm using and applying this on to the rest of my face to give me that nice, beautiful glow. So starting with my cheekbones, oh my God. This is poppin'. And I'm blending this in. You guys, this highlighter is like to die for. I am so obsessed with how beautiful this shade is and how gorgeous it blends out on my face. I'm taking this into my temple area to make sure it nice, nice, yeah, it nicely flows into my skin. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that, guys. So beautiful. I'm then going to be applying a little bit onto my forehead to just give it some nice shine. Make sure you blend and buff it out. You don't want just like a patch of highlighter. I just want to dip my whole body into this highlighter. It is so gorgeous. And then onto my cupid's bow as well to make my lips look nice and voluptuous. So for this look, obviously since it's a lot softer, I really want to put on a beautiful blush to just enhance my cheekbones and give me more of that youthful look. For this, I'm picking out my Dose of Colors blush and this is in the shade Mint for... Oh wait, no, hold on, I like. I have to scratch it off to see. It says State... State Mint. This is in the shade State Mint. Oh, State Mint. Duh, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, state mint. I thought it was like a state and then mint, and it made no sense to me, but. 
Anyways, I'm going to be applying this blush onto my cheeks with the same brush I applied my bronzer. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. All right, tapping the product off, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a nice smile and begin blending this product into my bronzer. So pretty. Love this blush. I never was a blush person. I always thought it was just too much, but honestly, lately I'm like obsessed with blush. It adds just the right amount of color and I feel like it really just makes the whole look come together, especially in more natural looks. All right guys, so now that I've applied the blush and I love the outcome of it, it's so pretty, I'm gonna be taking my brow gel and this is from Makeup Forever and it's just a clear brow gel. And I'm gonna begin combing my brows upward and just making sure I lock in all the hairs so that they're not moving throughout the day. All right guys, so now that I've applied my eyebrow gel, I'm going to slightly fill in my eyebrows today. I want that very natural, modely type of brow, so I kind of want to keep it very light-handed. I'm picking up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Medium Brow Pencil, and I'm just gonna lightly feather in strokes where I have little bald spots. And I'm going to be applying this very, very light. Almost as if I'm not putting any product or any pressure on my eyebrow. I'm going to make a little tail right here on the end of my brow just to kind of give it more shape. And I'm just feathering lightly, nice little hair-like strokes. All right guys, so as you can see, the brow is very natural. I actually didn't even touch any hairs up here. So I kept my natural hairs up in the front and just kind of focused on the end of my brow to really just shape it, define it, but still keep it very natural. So I'm gonna repeat the same steps onto the other eyebrow, starting with the end of my brow and just dragging down a tail. And then just softly filling in the end to really just shape it and define it. We are going to go ahead and take our Tarte Lashes Mascara. And we are going to be applying this to make my eyes look nice and awake. I love Tarte Mascara. I feel like they have some of the best ranges of applicators. And they just make my lashes look so long and so fierce. Applying it to the other lash. So now that I've applied this mascara, which I'm honestly in shock, I think this has to be one of the best mascaras I've ever used on my eyes. It made my eyelashes look so long and I'm loving it. So it is now time to finish off this look by taking a lip liner pencil. And this is called Clean Color Lip Liner Pencil. To be quite honest, guys, I bought this at a random store I went to, so I'm not sure if this is a big, well-known brand, but I'll go ahead and list it in the details below. I'm gonna be picking up this color and begin by outlining my lips. So when I apply lip liner, I like to kind of fill in the whole lip with the lip liner just to create that nice brown shade. So if my lipstick comes off during the day, at least I have a nice base underneath. For this look, I'm gonna be finishing off with this beautiful lipstick color from MAC, and this is called Quartziti. And it is a retro matte liquid lipstick. So this is my first time trying out this color, so hopefully it looks good. Ooh, it's super pretty actually. It has like glitter sparkles into it too. I really like this color. And I actually really like it paired with a brown lip liner. I think it just makes everything look more poppin' and it also gives my lips more dimension. So picking up just a little concealer brush, I'm gonna go around and just make sure I clean up my lip. All right guys, so to finish off this look, just by looking at it, I love how everything turned out, but I just wanna add a little bit of bronzer into my eyelid just to give it a little bit of color. So picking up my Hoola bronzer and a flat brush from Iconic London, I'm just gonna be applying a little bit of product onto the brush without actually thinking about it being perfectly placed. I'm just gonna sweep it across my lid just to give it a little bit of color to make sure that I look nice and awake and just to finish off this look kind of blending it outward much better I feel like this already looks 10 times better and just sweeping it across my lid without really thinking about the placement of it all right guys so it just 
finished this beautiful soft glam. What do we think? Make sure you guys comment below and let me know if you guys like these types of looks or if you guys like more dramatic makeup. I love how this turned out and I think it's a perfect way to start our new year off. It's very youthful, fun, and glam at the same time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys!